home video. Whenever man plays God, it never works out well. For man, look no further than movies like Frankenstein, The Island of Dr. Moreau, The Island of Lost Souls, and Jurassic Park. And now, thanks to Cauldron, we can add another film to that prestigious pantheon. Ratman. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you combined rat and monkey DNA? Of course you have. The answer, two feet of twisted, bloodthirsty fury called Ratman. So first I have to thank the chat of a recent live stream that requested, nay, demanded that I watch this movie. And after seeing the trailer, how could I possibly refuse? It was the scene of Ratman climbing out of the toilet to attack a victim that really sold me. In short, Ratman is everything that made Italian exploitation cinema so much fun. I mean, just look at Ratman himself, or itself. Here we have the late Nelson De La Rosa as the titular character. This little man is a special effect in and of himself that no puppet or computer-generated effect could ever touch. And you can tell that he was having a ball playing this character. Even the rat fangs couldn't hide the smile beaming on his face while stalking, clawing, biting, or eating the flesh of his victims. Oh, and by the way, both his fangs and his claws secrete a deadly, uncurable toxin. So all he has to do is scratch you, and you're a goner. And speaking of the goners, Ratman stars the Beyond's David Warbeck and City of the Living Dead's Janet Agron. Agron has traveled to the Caribbean to search for her missing sister, and Warbeck is a mystery author who's just kinda along for the ride. Agron's sister, played by the stunning Eva Grimaldi, is a model whose latest photo shoot is unfortunately located in the jungle Ratman calls home. Like most Italian exploitation cinema of the time, the dialogue is absolutely ridiculous, the dubbing is comical, which makes the absolutely ridiculous dialogue all the more so, and the characters are practically brain dead. It's plenty sleazy, too. Director Giovanni Carnamio treats us to a long and quite thorough shower scene featuring Grimaldi. Hey, no complaints here. On the downside, Ratman isn't nearly as gory as it should be. That was a surprise. And whenever Ratman or Grimaldi isn't on screen, the movie is... boring. What's worse is, both Warback and Agrin are wasted. They spend the majority of the movie with next to nothing to do aside from having dull conversations. They don't even cross paths with Ratman until the very end. The only interesting character, aside from Ratman himself, of course, is the Mad Doctor who created him. Or it. The best slash worst dialogue is saved for him, and he's got this whole poor man's Dr. Moreau thing going on. And despite him having created Ratman, and despite him knowing just how deadly Ratman is, he keeps Ratman in a very flimsy-looking cage. And even after Ratman escapes, he's just kind of blah about it. Oh, he'll turn up. Don't sweat it. But this movie is called Ratman for a reason. Ratman is the star of the show here, and every moment he is on screen, attacking one of his victims while screeching like a monkey, is pure gold. I also love how they used puppet arms for Ratman for certain scenes. However, they must have only had two left arms to work with, so there are certain scenes in the film where it appears as though Ratman has two left arms, and they didn't even attempt to turn one of the left arms upside down to kind of make it look like a right arm. I mean, who's got time for anatomic accuracy anyway? Is Ratman a bad movie? Oh yes, very much so. It's not quite so bad it's good, though, but I still had a fun time with it. It's definitely not going to be for everybody, but if there's anything that I've talked about during this review that's in any way piqued your interest in regards to Ratman, then you should see it. This limited edition Blu-ray release for Ratman features a new 4K restoration from the negative. The image quality here is quite good. There's a nice level of detail and clarity. The darker or less well-lit sequences did look a little murky and there was a decent amount of grain present, but otherwise Ratman looked great on this release. 
As for audio, we have an English 2.0 mono track, which I thought sounded crystal clear and full bodied. Overall, I'd give both the picture quality and the sound quality on this release a solid four out of five. As far as extras are concerned, first up we have Lighting Ratman, an interview with cinematographer Roberto Giurametti. It's 16 minutes and 24 seconds in length. Mr. Giurametti discusses his early days in the business, first as a camera operator on films like Barbarella and working with directors like Ruggiero Diodato before working as a cinematographer on Ratman. He discusses the cast of Ratman, his lighting for the film being inspired by American Werewolf, the film's cult status, and more. Next, we have Framing the Ratman, an interview with camera operator Federico Del Zopo. It's 17 minutes and 21 seconds in length. Mr. Del Zopo discusses his love of cinema and for cameras and how cumbersome they were to operate back in the day. He admits his memories of Ratman are blurry, but discusses the cast, how much he enjoyed working with Nelson De La Rosa, and much more. Next, we have Just a Fin, an audio interview with post-production consultant Alberto DiMartino. It's 6 minutes and 35 seconds in length. Mr. DiMartino discusses the problem with Ratman and compares it to seeing a shark's fin. And he, <laughs> and he says he came up with the idea um, that Ratman should be venomous, that that would make it scarier. Uh, he discusses working on a number of other films, including Bloodlink, we get a trailer, and we get an audio commentary with film historians Troy Howarth, Nathaniel Thompson, and Eugenio Ercolani. This release comes inside a cool slipcase with new artwork from Justin Coffey. The sleeve is reversible. We get a double-sided poster. And we get the soundtrack by Stefano Manetti on compact disc. This is a very nice limited edition release for Ratman from Cauldron Films. If you've seen Ratman, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know what your personal favorite Italian exploitation film is. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A huge thank you to all my patrons and channel members for your generosity and support. Become a patron today and get early access to videos, have a say in what content appears on my channel, join me for monthly live streams, exclusive watch parties, and more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream, as well as members-only watch parties. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.